Hey, welcome to the Uncomfortable Is Okay podcast. I'm your host, Chris Desmond, and this is a show where we make it easier for you to get out of your comfort zone. Today, I want to have a little bit of a chat about privilege. And like Spider-Man says, well, slightly a little bit of a play on what Spider-Man says, with great privilege comes great responsibility. Uh, And... Privilege, and and especially my own privilege, was something that was really brought home to me a couple of years ago. Uh, My wife was doing a little bit of work in the Philippines, um, and I was over there visiting. We went out for dinner with with some of the people that she was was working with. Uh, So I was was sitting at a table with uh, my wife, uh, with a Canadian girl, a a gay Mexican guy and a couple of transgender Filipina activists and the the conversation turned to discrimination Uh, and the the Mexican guy turned to me uh, and and one of the questions that he asked me was what are your thoughts on discrimination and on inequality and that really that really hit home for me it it wasn't something that I could answer particularly well because I'm a white middle class heterosexual male um so I've I've never really faced any type of of discrimination against me against myself uh there was a the little bit of uh schoolboy bullying that kind of thing uh but you soon learn just to take marmalade sandwiches for for your lunch so no one uh takes them off you uh, and you soon learn to love marmalade actually it's 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 a nice uh, it's a nice spread um, <clears throat> but otherwise I, I'd never faced discrimination on a on a level that probably a lot everyone else at the table had to a to a greater or lesser extent so it really it really hit home to me how privileged I am to be to be born into the situation that I am in that I'm I'm a white male, uh, I live in New Zealand, uh, and I have I've I've had a great upbringing and have all of these these privileged advantages based on the luck of the draw, and you can you can go deep down a rabbit hole with this this type of thing and I, it's not about being ashamed of the privileges that you have had uh, that that you have that you that you currently enjoy uh, because you can beat yourself up with it if you're if you're trying to create positive change that you that you have all of these advantages that other people don't but rather it's being it's being grateful and living in gratitude that actually hey I'm I am I'm a lucky dude to have been born where I where I am I, I won the lottery with with that and, and to be born who I am uh, being grateful for it but also being aware of them and I'd never really been that aware of of the privileges and the advantages that I had until this conversation I mean they'd been there in the peripheries but this this really brought it home and and really kind of brought it to light for me so being grateful but also being aware of them because if i'm grateful for them and if i am aware of them then i can i can really utilize them and use the advantages that i have in order to help other people but it's through this awareness of the privileges that I have uh, and potentially some of the discriminations that have, that other people have faced that I can understand their point of view a little bit better and, and where they're coming from. And if I can understand my own privileges and potential discriminations that they've faced, then hopefully what I can do is I can use my position, my privileges to to help them move forward uh, and to uh, create things for themselves. So I guess in, in summary of that, we every one of us has certain privileges uh, that we've we've been born into. Uh, 
we should be we should be grateful for them we should definitely be thankful for them but what we should also do is we should become aware of them and become aware of of what they are and the the position that they and, and the advantages that they give us then with that awareness what you can do is actually you can you can maximize these privileges you can uh, you can utilize them to uh, to your advantage and when I say utilize them to your advantage I mean them in kind of a, a positive social impact way here not a I'm going to use these privileges to uh, push down other people in, in, in order to better my situation it's using those privileges in order to uh, collectively improve everyone else's situation as well is that hey I'm a uh, I'm a white male potentially my voice is likely to be more heard than um, someone else from a from a different ethnic background um, or potentially than a, uh, a female uh, which is very unfortunate but it it's the world that we currently live in so if I can leverage my privileges in order to do good for the world then it's definitely a good thing so in summary with great privilege comes great responsibility. So go out there and utilize the privilege that you have to help other people out. Thanks so much for getting uncomfortable with me today.